All right, let's do this. Let's go to create, control click on Taurus, escape, and zoom out. <clears throat> go in to Taurus, create a transform, and move it up by 0 0.2 so that it lines up with the ground plane. Go back out. Go to Pyro FX and click on Fireball and select the torus. Press Return. It should come up like that. Let me just set up like that and let me run this through. Actually, before I run this through, let me change it to 120 frames because that's all we need. And let me play this. Okay, we got something. Let me just zoom out a little more. Okay. <clears throat> it's going to Pyro Import, create a volume visualization. And I'm going to choose my preset fireball res, which is um, density field density. And yeah, diffuse field is density and smoke. And emission is emission scale 2 temperature. Color field is heat. And I use the uh, preset black body here, so that's all that is okay. And let me create a camera, and then let me create a light, distant light. Okay, good. All right, so that's what we got. And let me just get out of here, change this to smooth shaded, and let me play this. Okay, I'm just going to have a play blast here for around six up to 60 frames. Okay, so I created a flipbook and this is how it looks like right now. And this is just off the shelf tool. Let me disconnect this. Okay, so let's go inside of Pyrosum. And let's go into Pyro and change this to 14, 17, 14. Change this to 8 at the y axis so it's at the bottom. Change the division size to 0 0.05. Multi field unchecked bounding box. Go into resize container. Change the padding to 0 0.5. That's good. And nothing to change here. Go into power solver. Nothing to change there. Here. Gas release will become 10. And I'm going to click on Shift, middle click, press F, and then H. And the next one is set at 20.74. Change this to 15. The third keyframe is set at 14. Change that to 10. Okay, so it starts at 10, goes to 15, and finishes at 10. All right. Okay, now let's create Vortex Boost, Gas Vortex Boost, and let me change this world size to 0 0.1. Go to Advanced, check on Open CL. Next one is Gas Dam, and I'm going to change the scale to 0 0.001. And I'm going to change the remap drag. So let me create a bunch of points here. Yeah, something like that. That's good. All right. So next one is I'm going to create a gas combustion. Gas combustion. Give the ignition temperature burn rate to 1. Fuel inefficiency to 0 0.05. Gas released to one and um, use OpenCL. Okay, right. So let's uh, create a merge and let's connect all this in here and let's connect it to here. All right, press L, H, that's good. So now let me go and inside here into the pyro import 
and let me create a read time node. And I'm going to go and change the speed to 4. Alt click. Change the input frame range to 240. Go to frame number 6. Change this to 1. And Alt click. All right, so I'm just going to run this through for about 60 frames and I'll come back. Okay, it's done 30 frames now. I'm just going to run this through. It already looks real good. Okay, I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to change the position of the camera. So let me just double check where. Okay, that's good. I'm going to uncheck the display flag for Taurus object and I'm going to adjust the light as well. All right, so that looks good. So you find out, look at this. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's go into Pyro Import and let's create Convert VDB and connect this here. Go in here and convert to VDB. And nothing else to change there. And let me create a file cache. And I'm going to save this in desktop. And I'm going to call this sim. And I call this uh, pyro, pyro underscore dollar f dot vdb. And I'm going to change this to 48. Okay. Um, right. I will save this now and I will come back.